Maps have continued to be green this week. You know what that means? Bitcoin to the moon. Well, not quite, but getting closer. An outer space-based mining rig mined Bitcoin at an altitude of more than 22 miles. The mission inspired talk of mining on the moon, which could solve the energy issues it has on Earth. But what if we get to the moon and a mining rig is already there? Here is your overview of the week. Bitcoin is often linked to the dark web and blamed for the opioid epidemic. Opioids like heroin and prescription painkillers like Oxycontin and Fentanyl kill an estimated 115 people every day in the U.S. At least 46% of Americans are friends or relatives of these victims. But now, companies believe blockchain, the tech behind Bitcoin, may be the answer. Intel and Big Pharma want to help fight the opioid epidemic using blockchain tech. Blockchain could better trace drugs so they don't fall into the wrong hands and prevent patients taking out multiple prescriptions. It will also create immutable medical records. Currently, there is a software that looks through prescription records across America to detect opioid abuse, but records can be altered. Not with blockchain. Using scanners and sensors in each bottle, even each pill can be immediately recorded on blockchain. The idea is being tried out by Johnson & Johnson and other companies. The experiment will see how easy it is to track pills from manufacturer to patient. However, a lot of opioids come from China, so they're difficult to trace. Intel says, ultimately, it needs to go worldwide. We agree with Intel, blockchain will save the world. Don't have $85 million like the secretive pineapple fund guy? Calling all crypto philanthropists on a budget. UNICEF is raising donations via crypto mining. Their Hope page mines crypto with the help of your computer's processing power. It allows visitors to select how much processing power they want to contribute to mine. The longer you stay on the page, the more crypto is mined. Any crypto mined is turned into fiat, then donated to UNICEF Australia and used to help vulnerable children worldwide. Nearly 2,000 people have donated computer power to aid the project so far. Bitcoin is becoming an increasingly popular way to donate to good causes, whether you are donating actual crypto or simply using computer power to mine. If you would like to donate to UNICEF Australia, visit their HOPE page. What could Bacon, Crypto, and billionaire Warren Buffett possibly have in common? Warren Buffett is known for a healthy investment portfolio, but not for a healthy diet. He drinks at least eight cans of Coke a day and eats McDonald's. Check out what else he eats. The food giant Kraft Heinz has released the Bay Coin, a token you can exchange for actual bacon. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is an investor. The McDonald's eating billionaire is not bullish on crypto, but apparently Kraft Heinz is. You can register for a Bay Coin and trade it in for some real life bacon or hodl for a better price and claim more bacon later. A cynical marketing ploy or a genius plan to get bacon-loving Buffett into Bitcoin? Big news coming out of the ether. Do you want the maybe good news or the potentially bad news first? Okay, bad news, but calm down, it's potentially bad news. Ethereum, the world's number two cryptocurrency, might be classified as a security. US regulators will be discussing it next week. If yes, then it has to register with the SEC in 2014, which is fine because if anyone can invent a time machine, it's wonderkin Vitalik Buterin, right guys? If no, then nothing to see here, move along, keep hodling. All right, move on, nothing to see here, please disperse. Now for the good news. Good news, everyone. Vitalik is getting into sharding. What, Vitalik is gonna climb the shard in London? Um, no. He has hinted that sharding, a way of increasing transaction processing capacity, could be coming to the Ethereum blockchain. Stay tuned to his Twitter where he'll give away more hints, but no ethers. Repeat, no ethers. Last year, South Korea banned ICOs from being held in the country, and we were sadder than that time we missed out on tickets for K-pop sensation, BTS. But we listened, then translated BTS's lyrics. In this black darkness, you are shining so bright. We never gave up hope. This week, a new bill was introduced that could open the ICO market back up, albeit one now strictly supervised by government regulators. So hopefully less crypto FUD and more crypto love. One more aboard the crypto love train. Goldman Sachs will be opening a crypto desk after being inundated with requests from clients desperate to get their fingers in the crypto pie. This decision means that the company has officially decided that Bitcoin is not a fraud. 
Congrats to all Goldman Sachs clients who no longer have to be no-coiners. And finally, after deciding not to accept Bitcoin, Reddit doubled down on crypto and hopes to expand to Litecoin, Ethereum, and beyond. Like and subscribe for Bitcoin to the moon. Like, subscribe, and hodl for Bitcoin to Mars.